Hey guys, this is Ellie from Hypno You. This is your weekly forecast for all the signs. If you would like a private uh, reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, uh, do use the link below. So this week with your finances, study and career, we do have a bit of a standing uh, still, a, um, a waiting on eggshells to find out what's been approved. Now for some of you, this is, okay, I've gone as far as I can. It's all outside of my hands now uh, and I just have to wait for uh, that decision to come through. Uh, for others, this is, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to get this off the ground, uh, finances, career, or uh, with our study. I am waiting for those results, and the more stressed out I get, or the more that I try to, um, you know, uh, get this pushed through, I'm just struggling, and I'm getting myself more stuck and more worked up than I am, and really, and honestly, I just have to be patient to see what the result's going to be. Um, also, we do have the idea that there is relief coming. Now for some of you that's to do with on a worldwide scale or your national scale to do with interest rates. Uh, they may have been uh, falling or they've just stayed stagnant and for you, I mean especially if this is for my retirement fund, my super, um, you know whatever savings you have uh, you know, about your future that you're relying on, you know nervously waiting to see how far it can drop or you know when is there going to be relief, when is there going to be a um, balancing point or an increase to go with that. Lastly, we find this um, person, the situation yourself or your boss, where we have been stuck and it hasn't been moving and you feel like I really need this to push forward, but it's just not happening. And then as you sit on that, the solutions will appear. It's almost like um, I needed that one bit of information before I could go on to the next level. So, you know, I needed the finances to be able to work on this project or to be able to launch this product. Um, but now, I am, uh, I've got the solution because I now have enlightenment, I have got the answer and now I can move forward. And lastly, we are, are going to see a return to uh, a financial boom, the numbers from uh, previously, and I want to say uh, May and, um, and June, that's the area. Now at home, we do have the four of wands. Now this is with fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. There is some good news coming into the home this week. Their home is stable, the home is celebrating, the home is, um, is is having a glorious time where we have got investment, where we have got something to celebrate and the foundations are solid there. So for some of you, this is, I have applied for the loan, I've anxiously been waiting, uh, you know, I had to redo something, uh, perhaps I had to do that twice or something fell through, but during this week, you're going to find that finally, you're going to have that answer. So if you've been walking on eggshells to be able to find out if you've got those finances to do with your home, you or the job, you know, I'm looking for a raise, I'm looking for a promotion, I'm looking for a job, and the answer is there now, and it is a yes, and you are able to celebrate. Now, also, this is about our home. What are we welcoming into our home that is, you know, making it feel better, the energy's better, there's happy times, there's something to celebrate. Now, for some of you, we are making it official. For others, this is... Um, there's new energy in this house for whatever reason. Now, for some of you, a oh, homecoming. There's a homecoming. For some of you, this is related to a separation. This is uh, around a um, divorce. This is around a difficult time to do with uh, child support, child care, um, you know, 50-50 share. Because we do have uh, the happy celebration card. And in our love, we do have the eight of swords. So this is uh, fire signs with air signs. And this card is saying, you know, I am in a tricky situation where, with my other, where I'm stressing out, where I feel like my, uh, I don't know what the details are, my arms are tied in this one, and really, I'm so emotionally drained, I have been overthinking, I have been scouring my brain to come up with a solution, and so uh, this is, uh, you know, if there is a divorce, if there is some sort of custody or child support battle, um, one or, uh, so if it's you against another or the other against you, there is good news for you because in the home things are better so this could be that this has been dragging on for a while you've just been seen um, and so that the good news is there now with your health you do have the ace of cups this is I've been lucky enough to um, 
uh, get that appointment that I was hoping to get. It's operation day. It is um, the day I, I um, you know, get my teeth cleaned, I get new teeth, whatever it is. Because this here is head, face, upper lip, upper jaw, cerebrum, our brain. And this is about what we look like. This is about our perception of the world and how the world sees us. And there is, so if this is to do with emotional, mental stress, anxiety, um, you know, anywhere in a mental state, because this is um, water, this is water science. So this is about your emotional self. So there is an offer, there is um, divine intervention which makes you feel very happy about the area of the first house. Now for others this is, you know, I've been working hard, I've been looking for that solution uh, and now someone, somewhere, some intervention has got me to that place where I do have that support. Someone has reached out and given me what I need to get into that state of peace and balance. Uh, this is also about the idea of... Um, I'm emotionally fulfilled. So, you know, I'm, if this is something to do with our teeth or our face or whatever it is, you know, if there's any sort of procedure there or if there's any um, sort of change there, you know, this has been a long time coming and you feel back to your normal self. Now, again, with our love, we do have the Eight of Swords. So, you know, this is... Um, you know, depression, this is missing, this is a separation, this is a severing, so whether this be a short term or long term, you know, you're really um, missing this person or that, you know, you feel like your hands are tied, there, there is nothing more you can do, um, and so you are just waiting, uh, you know, there's the uh, circle of swords around you, so you're trapped in your thoughts, your arms are bound, your eyes are covered, so I can't see, I can't move, uh, and I'm stuck in my thoughts and my situation, especially if we're frightened about something or if we feel like there is um you're, I'm isolated I feel alone I feel like I'm not getting um the support that I need now if this is with a um you know a partner that's established uh then this feels like I feel isolated I feel shut out and I'm racking my brain to think where is this coming from because you know this is this is this is the cold shoulder this is the cutout and I don't know where this is coming from or maybe there's been a timeout so you and the other are having a timeout and you're deciding, you know, do we want to be together? Do we want um, to work on our partnership? You know, where is this idea of us as a couple and uh, you're feeling trapped, uh, you're feeling um, the cold shoulder, you're feeling isolated, you're feeling, you know, that mentally you're, you're desperately trying to find out why. Um, so this is, uh, for some of you, this is of being thrown out at home, you know, because the swords are around us and the home is behind it. So whatever that is for you, um, there, there is worry there. And, and it's like, I don't know what the answer is. I really don't know what the answer is. Now, don't forget, we do have a uh, solar uh, eclipse in Leo. Uh, so again, this could be about... Um, for others, this can be, there has been a loss or a grief, um, you know, if it's your baby or someone close to the family and you're just feeling alone, you really are, you're overthinking things, you're feeling alone, you're feeling trapped, uh, there's some sort of pain there and there's a severing as well. So with this eclipse, you're going to find that there is an emotional um, turning point. We get to a high. We must act. We must know. We, you know, our emotions are driving us forward, and this is through that, um, you know, heaviness of the eclipse. So, you know, be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Don't go running ahead thinking you know the details when you actually don't, and we don't want to regret that knee-jerk reaction. So, you know, be kind to you. Love yourself. Be gentle with yourself and others, and don't be drawn into an argument don't be drawn into defensive mode because this is your emotions being ruled by this eclipse and eclipse is always concealed they don't reveal and you might have to wait 30 to 90 days for the full uh, disclosure okay we do have um, Shanti this is um, Leo um, and this is about you know there is peace and tranquility so what you're holding your breath for uh, you know the, the Leo you know babies dating uh, hierarchy in the family and this card is saying that there is going to be peace there is going to be forward motion there is some new energy around this and through that there is going to be happiness through the family adriana says that whatever decision that you're making listen to your gut watch your dreams listen to your aha moments because the thoughts and the way forward is in those areas so you know you and your children are safe you and your family are safe if you don't have either of those then you are safe you just have to 
persist and just be patient. Uh, Shiana says, whatever it is that you fear, so again, if we're fe fearing this, our love relationship, if it's about our finances, major arcana card, major turning point to do with our career, our finances and our study. Oceana says, what are you afraid of? Now, is this an outside issue that we're afraid of? Or is this an internal struggle of, you know, um, going up over our self-esteem which keeps us low that fit makes us feel like we're not good enough um, this is about that idea of the fear of standing up to fear of taking that risk the fear of moving forward this is also about competition you know whatever area that is but this is saying trust yourself and uh, go with that now Sonia is saying that through this uh, emotional time anyone that has passed they are with you at this moment to help you to go you to celebrate with you to be happy with you to help you give the um, courage and the strength to make it through whatever this negative wherever this is this one here is more of a hold on it's there it's coming you can breathe a sigh of relief but it's just through those tense times you are really it's nail biting so be kind to you and those you love and I shall see you next week